Good evening, and welcome to the Henry Schein Dental Academy webinar series. My name is Adam, Marketing Specialist, and I'll be your moderator. Tonight, we're joined by Laura Seafelt and Leah Walters, designers with Henry Schein's Integrated Design Studio. Laura and Leah will be highlighting the latest trends in dental office design. Before we get started, we have a few reminders for you. At any point during tonight's webinar, if you have a question, please type it into the Q&A section of your control panel and we'll reply via email within two business days. Henry Schein is not offering CE credit for viewing or attending this presentation live or on demand. And this webinar is sponsored by Henry Schein's Integrated Design Studio. Laura and Leah, take it away. Thank you, Adam. And thank you all for joining us today. We're excited to share our insights into the biggest design trends that we've been seeing this year. As a quick introduction to myself and my co-presenter, I'm Laura Seafelt, and I'm joined today by Leah Walters. We're both designers at Integrated Design Studio with Henry Schein Dental. For those of you who may not be familiar with Integrated Design Studio, we're a team of 20 designers who work closely with Henry Schein's equipment specialists to design dental practices throughout the United States. Our design philosophy is to develop spaces that pay special attention to the nuances of the flow and function of a dental practice, as well as creating elevated patient and practitioner experiences. Our services include interior space planning, interior finishes selections, and equipment specifications. <clears throat> Let's get started by reviewing design trends and how they work in dental practices. Dental practices certainly are unique environments. With a variety of spaces serving so many different functions, we find that they often blend trends from different aspects of the design industry. Some spaces, such as waiting rooms, might pull on influences from residential or hospitality design trends. Business areas, consultation rooms, or team gathering spaces tilt more towards corporate settings, while the entire clinical zone will take considerations for medical spaces into account. Of course, there is a good reason for incorporating each of these perspectives into your practice. There are many factors to balance when you consider the design of a dental practice as a whole. It's important to create comfortable, inviting spaces that will reduce stress for patients and create a positive impression of the practitioner overall. Furnishings and finishes should be comfortable and appealing, but also appropriate for a high traffic commercial environment and able to withstand rigorous cleaning. While we focus on creating calming and comfortable environments for patients, staff-centered spaces should be clean, efficient, functional, and stimulating. Most importantly, the practice should be a reflection of the practitioner and of the quality of care that he or she provides. One concept that we want to introduce today is that of resumercial spaces. Incorporating aspects of residential design into a commercial environment has been popular for the last few years. The term resumercial was coined to describe the blending of the comfortable, relaxed feel of a residential space into a commercial environment. It was first popularized in corporate settings and is now influencing many areas of design. We really expect that this trend is going to continue. Expectations for interior spaces will change as we move into a post-pandemic world and bringing the comforts of home into commercial spaces will become more and more popular. So, how does a resumercial look work in a dental environment? We are not suggesting that your entire dental practice should look and feel like your living room at home. It's more about incorporating some of the themes and trends that you see in high-end residential design while adapting it to be appropriate for a commercial space. The effect for your patients will be a less clinical look and feel, which can reduce anxiety and improve their overall experience. Focusing on key areas such as the waiting room, consultation, patient restrooms and corridors is an effective way to achieve this goal. 
I mentioned the fact that residential spaces may continue to trend as a reaction to the pandemic. And I think it's safe to say that many of the overall design themes that have emerged in 2021 are also a reaction to the uncertainty and anxiety that many people have experienced over the last year. We're seeing an increased focus on the comfort and personal wellness that someone experiences within a space, both physical and emotional. Atmospheres that feel sanctuary-like and encourage tranquility are becoming more and more important. You can see these ideas come to life in the interior design world with an emphasis on curved forms and soft fluidity, the use of earth-inspired neutrals, and organic natural textures. With a focus on wellness also comes a prioritization of natural light, fresh air, and healthy spaces. Other themes that are emerging include the sustainability of a space, natural materials with a handmade organic quality, minimalism as a way to encourage calm, and rich warm color palettes with a focus on neutrals. As we dig deeper into trends today, we want to discuss how these concepts are affecting color, furniture, wall and ceiling solutions, lighting, flooring, surfacing solutions, and tile. We also want to introduce you to two new trending styles, New Traditional and Japandi. Now I'll turn it over to Leah to discuss color. Thanks, Laura. In years past, color trends have leaned towards the cool hues and all gray and white interiors. Spaces that are largely made up of cool grays and all whites will still be relevant and sought after this year and many years to come. However, in 2021, trends are going in a new direction towards warm, comforting hues and bright pops of color. With the last year bringing much uncertainty, it is not a surprise that end users are now looking to live and work in spaces that offer feelings of nesting, comfort, and sanctuary. Because of this adjustment, comforting warm hues are not only affecting trending paint colors, but also affecting the colors of many other aspects of the space, such as wood stains and flooring and millwork, furniture styles and fabrics, and finish options on lighting and decor. Because of the shift in color, we are also seeing more vibrancy and depth in colors selected in spaces. I really like how the living room on the left-hand side displays the sense of color. The mix of warm wood tones and the sienna colored couch add a stimulating vibrancy to the space, while the teal wall behind gives a stark contrast to the sienna color, creating extra depth within the living space. Along with warmer colors, the use of jewel tone colors is another trend we are seeing in 2021. As we take a look at the bottom right-hand image, bringing the pop of emerald green into the space gives the warm, neutral living room a sense of excitement and sophistication. In the past, jewel tone color colors were largely used in glam or transitional spaces. However, using them in modern or even traditional spaces as accents and finishes, fabrics, and accessories can give the space a bold new look and feel. In response to using warmer colors and pops of color in spaces, color is also being used in new bold installation methods throughout commercial and residential spaces. In the past, color was commonly used as accent paint colors on walls. However, we are seeing the use of color evolving dramatically. So let's take a look at some new uses of color. Color is now commonly being used as paint, not only on walls, but rather also on casework and millwork. Adding color to cabinetry, doors, and wood paneling is becoming popular in both commercial and residential settings. Color is also being added to other statement pieces, such as wall covering, upholstery, and artwork. Installing color in areas other than just accent walls gives spaces new color possibilities. Taking a look at one of my very own designs, the image on the left shows a painted wainscoting designed reception desk. By painting the front desk, we achieve the client's want to highlight this unique architectural detail, giving a stark contrast against the neutral white walls. 
Using color can also make a statement when used on wall covering, upholstery, and artwork. Taking a look at the bottom right-hand image, we can see that color is being used in the upholstery, artwork, and accessories to give the space a bold pop of excitement. Next, we are going to take a look at two trending colors. Each year, major paint manufacturers such as Sherman Williams and Benjamin Moore publish a color trend guide that showcases a leading color of the year that helps us predict new trending colors in the market. Sherman Williams color of the year is called Urbane Bronze. Rooted in nature, this warm gray with underlining tones of brown and bronze give the space the ultimate sense of sanctuary. With the ever increasing want for nature inspired energy in our interior spaces, this color gives its end users the ultimate sense of retreat and renewal. Bold and understated, Urbane Bronze is a new neutral that can be paired with warm neutrals, bone whites, or even modern grays. It can also be used to add a bold contrast into the space through painted accent walls, doors, and casework. Because of its versatile uses, Urbane Bronze can be used in many interior design styles. Whether it's used to contrast white trim in a contemporary dental waiting room or used as painted wainscoting in a traditional residential dining space, Urbane Bronze will be a color used in many spaces throughout 2021 and years to come. Next, let's take a look at one of Sherman Williams' trending color palettes for 2021. Working with similar attributes, the color palette Sanctuary, which is inspired by Scandinavian design, captures the beauty of bringing the outdoors inside. While warm neutrals such as modern gray, pure white, and beige create a safe haven in spaces, pops of natural tones such as canyon clay, urbane bronze, and oak moss dance throughout the palette to give a sense of biophilic and minimalism to the design. Because of the overall trend of wellness, nesting, and renewal, this palette can be used in a wide variety of interior spaces from hospitality design to medical applications. Next, let's take a look at another major manufacturer's color of the year. Benjamin Moore's color of the year is called a Aegean Teal. This blend of blue, green, and gray create her natural harmony when paired with other warm neutrals. Balanced and soothing, Aegean Teal helps end users reflect and reset in the interior settings, giving the space a sophisticated but joyful feeling. Whether it's the main paint in a hotel lobby to the color of kitchen cabinets, this hue can be used in many different styles of design from contemporary all the way to traditional. Next, let's take a look at how Aegean Teal can be paired with other colors. This color palette, published by Benjamin Moore, blends warm neutrals such as foggy morning, atrium white, and muslin to give the space a sense of simplicity and warmth. Paired with nat natural inspired pops of rosy peach, potter's clay, and a and teal gives the space vibrancy and depth. Finally, let's discuss how both colors of the year correspond with the overall 2021 trends we are seeing throughout the market. Even though Urbane Bronze and Aegean Teal are two very different colors, they both can help spaces achieve the sense of comfort, nesting, and sanctuary. Both palettes achieve this by placing warm neutrals at the foundation of the palette and by putting rich saturations of nature-inspired accents throughout. Sherman Williams focuses its color of the year with its warm neutral base, Urbane Bronze, while Benjamin Moore focuses on the pop of excitement with Aegean Teal. Both colors and palettes blend this feeling of home to successfully give end users the ultimate sense of comfort and retreat. Next, let's take a look at some of the trending furniture styles. I'm going to turn it back over to Laura. Thanks, Leah. <clears throat> Just as is the case with color palettes, we're seeing some really exciting changes in furniture as well. In the last several years, we've all gotten used to seeing the clean, straightforward lines that have been popularized by mid-century modern and modern farmhouse styling. The most prevalent trend that we're seeing in furniture now is a movement away from these straight, linear forms. If you've been shopping for furniture pretty much anywhere lately, you've probably noticed that curves have made a return. Dramatically curved edges, 
and relaxed forms are popping up everywhere. Here we see upholstered seating that takes advantage of curves to create a soft, approachable look and feel. Even the wood side chair and console table are demonstrating the trend with rounded, sculptural, and over-dramatized legs. The pieces that we see here all use curves to reflect the trends of sanctuary and cocooning in a space. You'll notice soft curved backs and arms of seating, mimicking a sense of embrace. Higher backed pieces reinforce the feeling of sanctuary. Along with sculptural curved forms, we're seeing a shift towards overstuffed furniture with overscaled proportions. Deeper seating ties into the themes of comfort and cocooning, and heavy tufting creates rounded edges and a dramatic effect. An emphasis on natural textural materials is also trending. The use of rattan, wicker, and caning on case goods and soft plush textiles on upholstery pieces reflects the theme. Boucle, Sherpa, and velvet are especially prevalent on upholstered pieces right now and reinforce that trend of softness and comfort. Arched features and rounded corners on case goods are replacing straight lines with sharp edges, completing the trend of soft, curved, and sculptural pieces. Next, we wanna jump into different trends that we're seeing for wall and ceiling solutions. In general, making a statement on key walls is still a trend, and vinyl wall covering is a really great solution for a dental environment because of its functional properties. With an emphasis on the natural world trending this year, you'll see a variety of nature-inspired patterns, whether it be mimicking different varieties of stone, a leafy trailing vine, or even a stylized version of tree trunks in a forest. I mentioned that one of the styles that we want to introduce today is that of new traditional. As we're seeing traditional styles trend again, vinyl wall covering is a great way to incorporate the look into your space. Here we're seeing overscaled, brightly colored ecots, stylized plaids, and a textural chevron pattern. All examples of traditional and predictable motifs, but articulated in a fresh and modern way. With an emphasis on natural materials and texture, we're seeing an embrace of earthy organic and natural textures and wall covering. It's an effective way to add visual interest and make a statement on your walls in a subtle and refined way. What I really love most about all of these wall coverings is how lighting will highlight and emphasize the textures, adding an additional layer of interest and drama. Geometric or abstract prints have been trending for several years and are continuing to be adapted to current aesthetics. On the left here, we see a painterly abstract pattern that relates to the themes of loose and organic forms. The image in the center is a very toned down, subtle geometric shown in a color palette that relates to nature and reflects a minimal style. On the right, we're seeing a very classic traditional trellis design iterated in an overscaled and modern way. Finally, with an increased awareness on the wellness of a space, there are several manufacturers who have responded to the demand for healthy environments by offering new products. Sherwin-Williams, for example, is now offering a paint additive that reduces the volatile organic compounds from other sources within the space. It helps rooms stay fresher longer and has odor eliminating technology. Wolf Gordon, which is a wall covering manufacturer that we work with all the time, has introduced a line of bleach cleanable vinyl wall coverings that are appropriate for a dental practice. Of course, wall covering isn't the end of your options for making an impression in your space. I'm gonna pass it off to Leah to review some other exciting solutions for your walls and ceilings. A new product that is hitting the market is an acoustical product called Zintra Timber and Sticks, made by MDC. With the increasing requests for biophilic design, 
these architectural features give the space the look of natural wood accents without the cost. What I really love about this product is that it helps reduce the noise level of the space because it is made out of sound absorbing fabric. As we think about the trend towards total comfort, Zindra Timber and Sticks is a great product to incorporate in a dental office to absorb unwanted sounds and increase patient comfort and happiness in the dental chair. Along with its sound absorbing technology, this product has unlimited installation and color options. From installing this product as ceiling baffles in a waiting room to artwork on a sidewall in a treatment bay, this product can work in almost any space. Another great product by MDC is their architectural dimension wall. This thermal plastic panel can be used in a multitude of different applications to walls, ceilings, and casework detailing. In a dental space, this product can be used as the front face of a reception desk or the material for a curved accent wall, as it is easily installed in many different fashions and comes in a variety of colors and designs. Lastly, Wayne's coating is a popular look throughout commercial spaces. This architectural feature is one of my favorites as it has many different application styles and methods. In dental spaces, it can be used in many different ways, giving the space another layer of style and interest. Taking a look at these images, Wayne's coating can be used on the front of the reception desk to give a clean, simplistic appearance. It can also be used on 12 o'clock walls, whether as the entire wall as we are seeing in the middle image or used as the lower portion of the wall. Both installation methods break up the continuous clinical hallway and give the hall some visual interest. Next, we're gonna take a look at some trending lighting styles we are seeing in the market. Tying in with a trend of nature-inspired colors and materials, lighting trends are also moving towards a more natural look. This natural look can be achieved in many ways. In the first image on the left, a traditional shaped chandelier is paired with handmade wooden beads that give the fixture a soft texture. The image in the middle displays a handmade shape and look of woven fibers surrounding an exposed light bulb. Finally, the two images on the right display an organic textures such as terracotta finish on the bottom and the wicker finish above. Another trend we are seeing is the want for mixed materials. In the past, end users were concerned about having finishes seen in lighting, hardware, and fixtures match completely. However, mixing materials such as metallics, painted finishes, and different metals is widely used in lighting design today. As we take a look, the first image on the left-hand side has several mixes. The core of the chandelier is a dark bronze finish while the accents are done in a natural bronze. The piece is then finished off in a mid-century modern white globe pennant, giving the fixture its third material and texture. The floating drum chandelier on the upper right-hand corner takes another spin at mixing materials. Instead of mixing materials on the exterior of the light fixture, the inside of the drum shade is finished in a polished copper giving the fixture a whole new look depending on the angle it's viewed in. Finally, our last lighting trend is one of my favorites because it brings back a traditional metal option that is widely gaining popularity as the want for more traditional styles and warm color palettes are coming back in trend. Many of us imagine natural brass in a very traditional interior setting. However, because of its many ways brass can be shaped used and paired, natural brass can be used in a wide variety of different styles. For instance, when paired with a modern kitchen island like the image on the left-hand side, the large natural brass pennants give off a very contemporary feel because of its shape and size. On the contrary, shaping the brass into a more traditional wall sconce and adding a patina finish to the brass as seen on the bottom middle image can make natural brass look a lot more traditional. The next trend we're gonna take a closer look at is flooring. We are seeing lighter woods being used in spaces today. With the want for a more natural look, wood species such as walnut and oak are starting to trend again. Even the size of the wood plank is evolving to be more of a natural dimension, making small three or four inch wide planks almost non-existent while sizes from seven to even nine inches wide are becoming increasingly popular. 
Along with wood and resilient options, carpet is also seeing new trending styles emerge into the market. Carpet is also trending in different directions because of the want for the natural material and more exciting color in spaces. Bold, graphic, and abstract carpet tiles are becoming a popular way to express color and pattern in the space. Using multicolored geometric accents like the first image on the left are large organic multicolored carpet tiles that form a uniform appearance like the image on the right can give a neutral heavy space a new and exciting pop of color and texture. Next, taking a look at some other prevalent color trends, carpet is also pulling inspiration from the trend of biophilic design. Pulling from nature, an increase in demand for soft woven and textural carpets are being used in commercial settings, giving users the nesting feeling of home. Taking a closer look at the carpet on the left, this woven carpet gives the appearance of an almost soft molten look. Paired with the overstuffed love seat, tranquil sheer window treatment and natural light fixture, this space offers its end users an ultimate retreat. Finally, because of the response to the pandemic, wayfinding, traffic control, and zoning are becoming increasingly popular attributes in commercial spaces. These items can be achieved by using a mix of carpet and vinyl products. In the first image on the left, zoning the desk areas with the corridor is achieved by changing just the carpet color. Next, the middle image helps its end users establish the six foot zoning marker and assist in wayfinding in the space with the carpet cut out as arrows. Finally, the space on the right showcases a simple change in color in the flooring to help assist with traffic control. Next, I'm gonna hand it back over to Laura who is going to discuss some trending styles and colors and surfacing solutions. Surfaces are an important finish in dental practices. Think about the surfaces at your business desk, the counters in sterilization and lab, the rear and side cabinet counters in your treatment rooms. It's an important category of finishes to consider when you're planning your practice. In keeping with the theme of an organic look and feel, we're seeing solid surfaces with natural veining and dramatic movement emerge as a trend. Veining that is larger in scale and might even include jewel-toned color palette, add drama, and make a strong statement. Here we're seeing manufactured stone that mimics the look of different materials. From a warm wood tone to a modern take on terrazzo to the look of a natural stone, manufactured solid surfaces have come a long way in how they articulate the look of other finishes. You can now combine the look and feel of a natural material with the functional properties of a manufactured solid surface. We also want to highlight that there is a new porcelain solid surface line called Endura available through Corian. Porcelain is a great choice for a dental environment for many reasons. You're all probably familiar with the durability of porcelain tile on walls and floors, and porcelain surfaces offer the same superior hardness and scratch resistance. It's also non-porous and does not promote the growth of mold, bacteria, and mildew, making it an effective solution for restrooms, sterilization, labs, and treatment rooms. You can see here that they're also able to mimic the look of natural stone in a manufactured surface. Another exciting trend that we've been seeing a lot is the use of slabs on vertical surfaces. Stones and solid surfaces aren't just for counters anymore. Where you might typically otherwise see tile, paint, or wall covering, solid surfaces are being used to create a very continuous, dramatic look. One of the advantages of this in a wet environment, like a restroom or sterilization, is the easy cleanability of the vertical application. Rather than cleaning every individual tile with all of the grout lines, a continuous solid surface is easy to wipe down and sanitize. Tile is another material that's an important finish in dental practices. Not only does it provide an important function on walls and floors, it can also be used as a decorative accent throughout your space. Making a statement with tile is a trend that we're continuing to see this year. 
Whether it be tile that is patterned or using mosaics to create a unique design, choosing key areas to highlight a bold look with tile can make a memorable design statement. On the left here, we're seeing several different painted cement tiles mixed together to make an eclectic and dynamic look on a floor. In the middle, smaller mosaics are used to create a clean, crisp, and geometric look. And on the right, individually painted tiles work together to create a geometric design in a deep, rich mustard color. Using different profiles for tile is another way that you can make a statement. We're all used to seeing traditional rectangular subway tiles, square tile, or even larger format rectangles, but there really is almost an endless number of options when it comes to using different geometric shapes. Here we're seeing hexagons, fan shapes, pickets, and arabesque profiles, which are all fun options if you're looking for something that's a little bit less traditional. One thing I would also point out is that all of these shapes are available in a wide variety of colors. So even though we're seeing some really bold looks on this slide, you could go in a direction that is more subtle and refined by selecting a neutral color palette and pairing it with a unique shape. Using mixed materials, meaning incorporating traditional ceramic or porcelain materials with metallic finishes is one of the newer and really exciting trends that we've been seeing in tile this year. The contrast between the two materials adds visual interest and dimension. I especially like the way that light reflects off of the metallic finish, adding a contrast against the matte body of the tile. We keep talking about embracing nature as a trend, and there are many ways that you can articulate a connection to nature with tile and still demonstrate different design styles. On the left, we're seeing dimensional wall tile with a waved effect that speaks to the trend of organic free flowing lines, but also feels very modern. To the right of that is a mosaic design that is reminiscent of a traditional floral pattern. And on the right, a variety of handmade and hand-painted tiles have an earthy artisan feel. Overall, we're seeing a movement away from smaller mosaic tiles towards larger format tiles. Horizontal or vertical stacked installation patterns, which essentially means lining up all of the tiles like a grid, is also trending. If you're looking for a classic tile profile, but want to give it a modern, minimalist look and feel, a stacked installation pattern is a great solution. Finally today, we want to take a look at two emerging design styles that have been gaining popularity this year. The first style that we want to discuss today is Japandi. If you've never heard the term Japandi before, you are not alone. Even if you haven't heard the word, you've probably seen the Japandi style without even realizing what it was. Japandi is the blending of traditional Japanese and Scandinavian interior design styles. If you're at all familiar with these two design philosophies, you're probably already thinking of how the two relate to one another. They both have a focus on minimalism, function, and natural materials. Japandi draws on influences from both aesthetics to create a style that emphasizes neutral color palettes, use of texture, natural materials, minimal decor, and bringing the outdoors in. How can you incorporate the Japandi style into your practice? We've pulled together a concept board to start to illustrate the style applied to a commercial space. You'll notice a light neutral color palette with deeper toned accents, light wood toned luxury vinyl planks and a soft textural carpet tile ground the space. Texture is highlighted with a variety of upholstery options for soft seating and natural finishes are used on wood case goods and ceiling lighting. Acoustical baffles add another natural finish and architectural interest. 
Here we see the Japandi style rendered at a reception area of a dental practice. A neutral color scheme with minimal decor expresses the style. The simple wood slatted wall adds architectural interest and brings in an additional natural material and simple clean pendant lighting completes the look. In the waiting room, we're seeing seating with a sculptural look and feel, a minimalist look at the beverage station with clean slab cabinet fronts and incorporation of the natural world with the addition of plants and the use of organic materials on the light fixture. We're always encouraging our clients to incorporate style into the clinical area. I love the way that this image shows the Japandi style applied to an imaging alcove and treatment room corridor. A neutral color scheme with light wood tones and a focus on textures creates a really calming environment for your patients. Architectural detail is added along the 12 o'clock walls of the treatment rooms with a very minimalist expression of wall paneling, as well as decorative art niches. One of my favorite treatments in an imaging alcove like we see here is using a deeper wall color behind the x-ray unit to highlight the equipment. Many of the same visual themes are repeated in the treatment bay. Again, a neutral scheme is made interesting with a variety of materials and textures. I love the way that the slatted feature is repeated here. It adds definition to the space and provides a sense of enclosure over the support counters. Next up, Leah is going to cover the new traditional style. New traditional is also a 2021 trending style. Many consider traditional style as matched furnishings from the same time period, saturated colors, multiple patterns, and heavy layers of window treatments and accessories. New traditional embodies these traits, but with many modern and contemporary updates throughout the style. New traditional embraces history in the style's artwork and decor selections. The style displays traditional craftsmanship with the use of built-in casework and wainscoting, and it gives us the predictability of traditional design with its use of rich colors and repeated patterns. Because of these thick ties traditional design, new traditional gives a space a sense of symmetry and order, easily recognizable and sought after by end users because of its sense of familiarity and ease. While new traditional gives tribute to its start, it also takes inspiration from modern styles, giving the style new life and excitement. Instead of matching furnishing styles and fabrics, new traditional may showcase a clean lined contemporary love seat paired with a traditional plaid fabric. Paneling and molding, which were used heavily in traditional style, are also being used in new traditional style. However, rather than staining this casework, new traditional casework might be painted in a bold, saturated color. As we take a look at lighting and decor in the new traditional style, natural brass gives fixtures a traditional feel, but may be mixed with different lighting fixture shapes and sizes to give a more modern feel. The same goes for decor throughout the space. In traditional design, spaces were heavily accented with as many decor pieces that would fit in a piece of casework. New traditional works towards showcasing a client's favorite pieces instead of all of them to give a more modern, minimalistic feel. In this conceptual board, a rich saturated color palette of alabaster, canyon clay, urbane bronze, and deep navy and green give the space a very traditional feeling. Pairing these colors, the traditional wood look plank grounds the mix of tufted button love seats and a leather wingback chair, displaying the mix of style, color, and type of fabric used in the space. Adding a plaid or ecot pattern pillows would finish off the furnishing pairings and tie the furnishings into a modernized oriental navy carpet. Finishing the space off is a modern light fixture finished in a natural bronze and a loosely patterned organic wall covering. Let's take a look at how you can incorporate the new traditional style in your office. A great way to include this style is in your reception and waiting area. With warm neutrals added space, this space adds a traditional feel 
with the wainscoting around the front desk, but adds a sense of refresh with its evergreen painted finish. The reception area also showcases some traditional paneling paired with a modernized organic wall covering and finished off with modern natural brass wall sconces. Taking a look at the waiting space, new traditional is worked into the style and color of the built-in beverage station and accented wainscoting. Adding a traditional look and feel with a tufted plaid chair, the space is finished off with an oriental rug insert and traditional looking accents and artwork. Adding new traditional into a dental space doesn't have to stop in your waiting room. As we see in this image, adding deep green painted wainscoting and natural brass wall sconces on the 12 o'clock wall gives the look and feel of the new traditional style while breaking up the clinical hallway. Adding to these walls is the offsetting modernized wall covering and the use of traditional looking wood species and colored flooring. Adding the new traditional style can also happen in your treatment rooms. As we see here, adding the two-tone wainscoting behind the side cabinet, placing traditional styled artwork and pairing dental chair and cabinetry colors with a new traditional rich color palette gives the look and feel of the rest of the new traditional office. To wrap up our presentation, we would like to highlight some key takeaways. First, creating an inviting and functional space that accommodates both patient, doctor, and staff is an important factor to consider. Offering a comfortable and visually appealing space for patients while also being an efficient, easily cleanable, high traffic environment for doctors and staff is an important factor to consider when designing your space. Next, as we increase our focus on comfort and personal wellness, both physical and emotional, atmospheres that present warm, earth-inspired colors will be widely popular throughout 2021. Offering color in spaces that reflect and express this warm and inviting atmosphere and new installation methods such as painted architectural details, artwork, upholstery, is an exciting trend seen in 2021. As we continue with our trend towards well-being, oversized plush textual furniture evokes a sense of comfort for its end users. Moving away from straight linear forms and returning to curved, relaxed, and deep-seated furniture will continue to trend in 2021. Finally, we'd like to finish our presentation with reviewing the two styles that are emerging into the market that practitioners can apply to their dental offices. By including elements such as natural brass light fixtures and hardware, saturated colors and traditional style furniture and fabric, a space can achieve sophistication and familiarity of the modern day traditional design. While using a warm neutral palette, minimalistic design elements, and curved furniture paired with soft textures, a dental practitioner can also achieve the simplicity of the Japandi style. We want to thank you for attending our 2021 Design Trends webinar and hope you've enjoyed our time together. Thanks. Excellent. Well, thank you, Laura and Leah, for the great information. And of course, if anyone would like to get in touch with the Integrated Design Studio team, please feel free to reach out through any of these platforms shown on screen. As a thank you for attending, everyone will receive the recording of this webinar via email in the next week. Thank you all for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you back here on future webinars. Have a great night.